Feldman reporting for TTN HD Production Live, here with Raphael Bonaliel, the co-producer of Midnight in Paris. How did you enjoy working on this film? Well, that was a great pleasure working with Woody, and uh, for me it was the first time, and uh, how can you say, you know, when you love working, working in this industry and you have the chance to make a movie with Woody Allen, you cannot really complain about it, it's just a, a joy, so yeah, that was a great experience. As a Frenchman yourself, were you happy with the way the film portrayed Paris? Yeah, and uh, the good thing is, uh, like, I know that from the past films that he has made, the one in Barcelona or some of them in London, where maybe Spanish people or English people sometimes were a bit upset the way he described them, but the good thing about this one is, like, we don't really see French people, it's mainly Americans in Paris, so it's fine, it's completely their vision on Paris. And it's, and it's a beautiful one, and especially if you sort of film, you know, all this travel in the past and things, it reminds of very good times that we can have in this city and uh, great people that went there and has been inspired by the city. So, no, it, it's a beautiful portrait of Paris and also the whole film, I just like it, so. How did you get involved in the project? Oh, uh, I think like maybe four years before I was working on Mr. Bean's Vacation and I had a call from uh, Ed and Robin, not directly, it, was, it went through working title, they were asking uh, who was the guy in charge of the Mr. Bean's Vacation and then they called me and at the time I was not available so they went through someone else and uh, for budget purposes they decided to shoot in a different city and they've made Vicky Cristina Barcelona and then a few years after they called me back and um, thanks to the budget that we've made and also the tax credit that was now in place for the f international films that come to shoot in France, uh, we made it happen and this is how I came on board. And as you were shooting the film, did you expect it to be what it is? Were you expecting it to be such a good film? Well, you, you can never expect something about a film and that's what is magic about it. You never know if it's going to be a success or not. The, th the good thing is I had the pleasure and the opportunity to watch the dailies every day with Woody and what I was seeing was really a, 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 an everyday pleasure. So, uh, but the success that it has, we never expect, really expected it. It was, and it's just great. And uh, as you know, it's his most successful film here in the States and mainly in the world. So. Uh, you cannot really expect that when you're working on something. We knew that what we was working on was great, and, uh, and I had no doubt about it. When I read the script the first time, I really enjoyed it. But uh, how can you expect this huge success? So. And how are you feeling about the Academy Awards coming up? I'm excited. You know, uh, it's the uh, it's first time for us, uh, but for me. And uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's nice. It's like the cherry on the cake, you know? Mm -hmm. You're not really working for the awards, but when you are nominated and when you're part of this project, you can just be proud of it and happy, enjoy it uh, the best as you can. And you have some projects coming up as well? I'm working at the moment on Les Miserables, the next Tom Hooper's film, uh, and also on The Smurfs too, and another French film from the director Cédric Lapiche that you may have heard of or not. So I've got a few projects. Well, we'll be looking out for them, and thank you so much, and best of luck with the awards. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you to you. I'm Katie Allman, reporting for TTNHD Production Live.